Hi everybody, it's Gerard again, and like I said, I decided to do a video since I was working getting this set up on the one thing I really love to do since I started in computers, and that's getting them and getting them cleaned out and fixed up and everything in them to give to needy people. And here is one. I've been getting ready for a couple who have a really old HP, uh, single core, like one hertz, uh, one gig of RAM, I think. Might have only 512 in it. But uh, it's running XP, but it's it's not very good. It's too old and it's getting wore out. Uh, they asked me to look at it when I went and looked at it. I said, uh let me get one of mine and I'll replace it. So, this is what I've got here. This I got from uh, Recycle. It's a Dell Inspiron. I've got it running uh, Windows 7 Home Premium, 64-bit, 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, let's see. Oh, what all is in this thing here? Come on, there you are. Uh, okay. It's got, yeah, it's got an Intel dual core, and it's uh, an E8300 pushing 2.83 hertz on both cores. 4 gigs of RAM, 64 bit operating system, and as you can see, it's genuine. Uh, and it is home. 64 bit but uh yeah this is what i do uh i got a few of these and uh one i think i think it was a burned up motherboard in it and uh this one had a dead power supply i took the power supply out of that one and working just fine in this one uh booted it up and the hard drive that was in it was all password protected but that doesn't matter. I wipe them anyway. Pretty much as soon as I get them. Uh, if I don't know who they're from, there could be stuff on there that'll send you to jail just for having it. So it's, I wiped it, put a fresh install of Windows 7 on it, made it genuine, and did all the updates. You know, that takes about 24 hours. And got the drivers up to date, all of that. And let's see, I also put in uh, CCleaner. I got it in there. I'll show them how to use that. I got a vast antivirus. And I even put Google in it. Well, I really didn't do it. If you go to the right, if you, if you go to a vast real site and get a vast, the free version, it automatically puts in Google. And a vast has their own browser. So it'll put in both browsers. And all you got to do is sign into them. So, and they also needed WinZip. Because uh, they get a lot of stuff from their family that's in zip files still. And uh, they needed to unzip. But that old computer of theirs, it, it wouldn't even play videos anymore that the kids were sending or on uh, YouTube or anything. Uh... So, I've been making sure this is all cleaned out and updated and everything for them. And since all their hardware is bad, I'm bringing them the computer. I've got a Logitech, uh, here we go, Logitech keyboard and mouse, USB. There's is the real old PS2. And the speakers on there, it's a shop. So, I got a pair of Logitech speakers also. And I'll be going over there later on, and I'll bring my uh, external hard drive and pull everything off of theirs that they want to keep. And I'll take theirs down, and I'll set up the whole setup for them. Uh, I'll put it into their printer, get them on the internet, help them sign into Google, and make sure they get into their Facebook and all their emails and stuff that they need. And uh, 
Show them what bookmarks are. They don't even know what bookmarks are. Or the bookmark bar. They're always in there having to type everything they want. So they'll be tickled to death to get that. I've met a lot of people that don't know what bookmarks are. And then I'll run them through. Show them how to check the antivirus. How to run the seat cleaner. How to use the zip file. I think, I think he knows how to use the zip file already. Uh, it just doesn't do him much good on that old one of his. They ought to be really happy. Uh, that thing is terrible, terrible slow. Now, this is old, but uh, this is going to be about 10 times faster than what they've got on the Internet alone. And uh, But this is what I do. I pick these, this up at Recycle, and I pick up monitors at Recycle. Oh, yeah, they're getting a, I don't know if I said it, they're getting a 19-inch widescreen HP monitor I got at Recycle. It costs me like three bucks, no big deal. But uh, I think I'm giving it away. But sitting here, I've got 8, 11, 14, 17 or Eighteen dollars in this thing, and the whole setup I'm giving them, uh, probably twenty if you count the cables. I get them a Goodwill or Recycle, they're like a buck a piece, and uh, they don't know that. They just think I got all this and I'm just looking to give it away. And I'll give it to them, no strings attached either way, and then I'll get their old setup, and because. They don't have any use for it once this one gets up with everything in it. Figure out what I can do with it. If nothing else, just scrap it for parts or whatever. Maybe it'll work with some of the other older ones I've got. I don't know. I know it's got an IDE hard drive in it and DVD player. So kind of tells you what I'm working with. But I just figured I'd make a quick video of this since I was sitting here and I thought about it. And... I hope you enjoyed it. I've got people that have been asking, you know, just what I do with it. And I even have one ask me, how do you find people who need, you know, computers to donate them to? And uh, I told them, you start with family. You like them or not, you just, you know, you got to do family first. If they're in need, give them one if you've got it or you can find them. And, uh, then you go to friends, churches, people at school, you know, that aren't doing really, you know, the family's not that well off, could appreciate it. Churches, there's a million places. Before you know it, you're going to have to be quiet about it because you're not going to be able to get them fast enough. But uh, this is the one thing I love to do. I have yet to sell a computer out of here yet. Even when times were bad, my friends told me, Jerry, sell something. I go, no. I haven't done it yet. I don't want to start. Uh, I give it all away and quit first. But uh, you all have a really good day. And thanks for watching. Oh, and like everybody says, please like, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment. I love the comments. I try to answer every one of them. And share the video to all your friends followers, subscribers, whatever. And uh, thanks. And I'll see you in the next one or down in the comments or like a lot of you guys, I've met you in other people's comments on their videos. But you have a good day. And thanks.